EagleRunnerBill.com. Eagle Runner Bill here. I don't know, maybe some of you got some equipment that sometimes the wires will overheat and start burning up. Sometimes, or most times, that means you have a serious problem and you don't want to do what I'm going to show you here because this here is on my hot tub and the wiring just starts breaking down because it's outside high humidity and my connection points will start corroding and the web and the wire the metal will start breaking down so as you can see this is an old jacuzzi i bought this in 1992 and this wiring the power wiring i it would start melting pretty regular and here on my heating element i found this high temp green wire this has worked like a champ i changed this out 10 or 12 years ago it goes to my heating element and the heating element is just has two posts so i had to squeeze the two wires into one terminal so i did it on both ends but like i said that's worked like a champ now my power wire has fried so i'm going from my power relay to my heater relay and I put in two wires and on this relay you can see I got plenty of contacts I left a, quite a few of them there so it was easy to just build up one wire at a time and one each wire is going to have its own terminal in not like the green wires where I twisted them together but I'm going to show you here I'm going to disconnect one wire from the relay here's the only wire that's going to be powering that heater relay or the heater element I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on take my amp clamp and you can see that one wire is now putting on taking on almost 23 amps it's a lot of amps for that one little wire it's gonna get warm so now what I do is I'll hook up the two wires and I'll take my amp clamp one wire reach 10 10 amps the other wire I go to reads 11.4, 11.5. So you can see either wire is working that hard now. And if I go ahead and clamp the both of them and get a reading, it's going to be the same as when I had the one wire, the 22, 23 amps. So hopefully this will, was helpful. Hopefully this will help you out. Like I said, on these uh, green wires, I had to twist them into one terminal. But it's worked great. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.